If we had the desire to give our surroundings a richer biodiversity, then semiotics could help. Semiotics allows us to analyze the basic needs of other species and how our garden, flower bed, or other land area would suit them as a habitat. An important concept in semiotics is that of the Umwelt, which describes the subjective or perceptible world of an animal species. This self-world may be imagined as a soap bubble surrounding every living being. As the sensory organs and bodily constructions of every species are different, the way that a chickadee, wild honeybee, or hedgehog perceives and uses our garden will also be different. For instance, if we wanted to invite a hedgehog into our garden, then we would need to know how to look at our surroundings from the hedgehog's point of view, close to the ground. Natural ground cover, whether shallow vegetation, fallen leaves, or mulch, is important for a hedgehog, as these are abundant in insects, earthworms, and other edibles. Bushes, wood stacks, and other covers are also important, as they provide hedgehogs shelters to hide from dogs and other dangerous animals. Garden fences are important for the hedgehog, too. Some of these may prove to be insurmountable obstacles, while others may be places to get stuck in. Some fences, however, may be built in such a way that makes it comfortable for hedgehogs to travel. The Umwelt concept allows us to look at our garden through the eyes of any animal species. It allows us to ask questions such as, what are the needs of the given species? How does this place allow them to satisfy their needs? And how do different species become aware of food and other resources? Sometimes all it takes is the minor relocation of a pre-existing element in the garden, or the addition of a new one, to significantly increase the richness of its biodiversity. Want to know more about this topic? Take the course Eco-Semiotics, Cultural Interpretations of Environment at the Department of Semiotics, University of Tartu. Come and study with us.